recorded live from Studio 12A in sunny Phoenix, Arizona. You're listening to the Josh and Friends Podcast. Thank you for tuning in to the Josh and Friends Podcast. I am your host. My name is Josh. And this week, the show welcomes back Eric Tapia to the program. And we have some fun topics to go over, including discussions on sporting mustaches in Movember, attending tailgates in Arizona, and famous singers who should probably have thrown in the towel by now, as well as some updates on Eric's mini beer keg challenge and his ongoing feud with Chris Topher. So make sure to stick around because it's always a good time when this guy stops by and you'll never know what to expect. So here he is, the man who some refer to as the Satanic Hispanic. He's my old pal, Mr. Eric Tapia. Yes. Time to go. Here we go. Yes, Eric. Wait for it. All right, wait for it. Eric is in the house um, once I'm again. Here. Back, back hey. at it again. How you doing, buddy? I'm great. I'm golden. You ready for this, man? You ready? Yeah, for this? yeah. I did all the uh, uh, Chicago Bulls trivia you talked about. '94 Bulls. Oh, we Rich like is, Rich's favorite '94, right? Is, I think it's '96, isn't it? '94. Uh, I don't know. It's when Jordan was playing for the White Sox. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I got you. I got you now. Oh, Rich is gonna kill you. Oh, Rich is gonna kill you. That's right. He's oh, like, no. oh no. Oh no. No, he he fucked up. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. So hey, if I if I act a little loopy during this episode, it's because I woke up at 12 30, never got back to sleep. Never got back to, I think I went got back to sleep like you know, 10 minutes before the you know, before the alarm went so out. So you haven't consumed anything. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be awesome, buddy. Right. It's going to be awesome. All right. All right. All right. So uh, I want whatever Josh had. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get on Josh's level. Oh, it's been a long time since I had you on. What, like five months or something like that? It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. It's like that meme. It's been 84 years. Yeah. Yeah. We, I think we were talking about what the, uh, the concerts and stuff like that. Concerts, right? jizz dogs, and uh, <laughs> you know, all sorts of stuff up for whatever. Oh God. Yeah. So some of the uh some of the things that have happened since then uh last week we had the mini keg challenge yes we did well i did yeah 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 <laughs> yeah exactly I yeah i was in uh i was not a part of that yeah, thing no, nobody was nobody's ready so to go ex- to explain that uh so, i mean we'll, we'll we'll show the video let's go let's go to the show clip real quick and then you can describe the uh the clip my name is eric this is beer number one Eric Tapia, and this is beer number seven. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Are you gonna spill it? Is that how you're holding your lip? <laughs> my name's Eric, and this is beer 14, 15. Oh it's the end of the mini cake. to the next <laughs> okay so no so i'm i'm you know i'm at the store and me being me i'm walking the aisle uh and i look to my left and i see a mini cake of dos Equis and i've never seen one of dos Equis before so i'm like i have to get it so no okay wait where was the point where you decided we're just i'm just gonna drink the whole thing did jordan say something because jordan was over here and he was kind of encouraging the uh, the whole thing too uh, right? no so i wasn't even gonna drink it actually because the one i found was on a shelf so oh. it wasn't cold i was like i'm just gonna take this home oh no way and then as i'm walking back i see one in the cooler and i'm like well i guess i'm drinking tonight <laughs> so yeah and it was dosakis and yeah, yeah. i had already bought the 18 pack of coors and i was like well i guess i'm drinking dosakis tonight so yeah and then we were doing the math on it and it was like what 15 16 beers or something like that yeah yeah it wasn't that much more than a 12 pack and i've gone through 12 packs 18 packs before so i <laughs> i figured it wasn't going to be much of a, a challenge no so 
Here's some impressive things about this challenge that you did. I like how we keep calling the challenge, but it's not really yeah, a challenge no, I don't think for you. Anybody else out there is doing this. Right. So, <laughs> no, you not only drank that whole thing, but you drank that in like two hours, right? It was like something like two hours. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't realize it was that, that fast. I mean, you were just like literally right after one was like done and you were down and you were like, it was like just shooting, just shotgun and beers, like just slamming these beers. I'm like, wow, man, like, uh, you need to, you need to pace yourself, but no. And, and by the way, after you finish that, then you just continued drinking. Like well, it was just like, you know, yeah, you just gotta I, keep, I have, keep going, keep drinking. didn't have any endpoint. It's like, you know me, I'm not much of a sipper or a pacer. No, no. We go to the bar and I'm always getting two drinks at once. Cause I don't feel like going back to the bar. Yeah. After I finished my first drink. So that's like the, uh, one time you were like, I've never really had wine. And then you just like, just down like an entire bottle of wine, like Andre the giant or something like oh, that. Yeah, I still, I still can't sip wine. It's like, I pour a glass and it just, you're like, wow, it's like a good grape juice. And then you're yeah. just like, Ooh, I kind of, kind of do feel that that's a little good. bit. Uh, yeah. But I, I don't have a problem. <laughs> I do not. Have Listen, a problem. The most impressive part of that entire experience of the mini keg challenge was the next day the next day roll downstairs eric's like hey man how's it going and i was like you're are you like hung over you're like no i feel good pretty good and i'm like what Dude, oh, i'd yeah. be like laid out for i don't know how long but i would be down for the count for several days mm -hmm. i'd be down just takes a little r and r and then up and back at it the next day man that's uh that's, i'm, I'm some impressed of us, some of us are built different yeah <laughs> I it's, could never do even in my prime. I could never do that even in my prime. And I was never really I'm, good. The, in the my downside prime. is when you're going to events. Cause then that's when it's like, am I really going to keep paying for this oh, alcohol or, right. or am I going to take a shark skin and just sneak as much <laughs> alcohol in as possible? Do you want to explain what a shark skin is to people out there that don't know? Oh, so for those that don't know, it's a <laughs> disposable flask. It's made of plastic. So as you're walking through a metal detector or, they wand you down. It doesn't. It doesn't register. They're so awesome. Yeah, it's such a great invention. So you fill it up, and unless they're doing a full-on pat down, you'll be good. Yeah, you're safe. Yeah, unless someone wants to touch your wiener. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. I mean, yeah. bonus points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, good stuff. Good stuff. So now, as everyone knows, you, Eric, are the man who's always up for whatever, right? always uh and you also you also uh, even dressed like uh the up for whatever man for for halloween right or oh, like the, the bud light the, seltzer bud light seltzer yeah, yeah. you uh, <laughs> like like obviously you you're a halloween prepper yeah and me i go with whatever is easiest and then we're like two weeks out from halloween i hadn't thought of anything and then you right. send me a message as most people don't i mean yeah. like you know I mean, no all it took was you to send me one photo <laughs> And it was of the Bud Light Seltzer cowboy hat. And I was like, all right, well, that's it. I was so like, dude, this hat's like on sale. It's awesome. It's like a really nice hat. And uh, it's like, I don't know, like like four bucks or something like oh, that. Yeah. I'm like, dude, Eric. That's a steal. Eric, this is all you, buddy. It's as a Bud Light, what is it? It was Bud Light it Seltzer, Bud Light right? Seltzer, yeah. So then you bought a Bud Light Seltzer outfit. <laughs> bought a Bud Light Seltzer costume, <laughs> bought a Bud Light Seltzer fanny pack. And you were drinking Bud Light Seltzers? Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was all in. It was I awesome. Was all in. It was good stuff, it was good yeah. stuff. I even bought a Bud Light shirt, but I, a <laughs> Seltzer shirt, but it was too small. So I was like, I will forego that point. <laughs> oh God, well, the, the reason I bring up the up for whatever um, whole phrase is because I wanted to put this to test live right now right here just to see how up for whatever you are oh, we're live in the studio oh, we oh now we might have to we might have to uh, go remote but I'll, I'll take the camera with me but you know what month this is right it's uh november it is november which is also known as no not november movember oh movember movember and you are currently not participating in movember oh yeah that's right yeah yeah that's right i mean it's there i see that it's there 
But the Mustang, now, Movember, for people that aren't aware, is it's like men's awareness for, you know, men's men's health. Yeah, like, yeah it's all know, for men. Prostate cancer, testicular cancer, yeah. other, you know, suicide prevention, anything that has to do with men. We get, you know, a month, which is, you know, women's women's uh, awareness is all year, but we get a month. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're fine with that. I'm good with that. I, yeah, I'm fine. All right, yeah. so, so what I want you to do, Eric... I kind of misled you okay. earlier when I said my clippers broke. Will you be willing to join me in November right now? Yeah. You're willing to do this? Look, it'll grow back in a couple of weeks. I so. know. You, you, asking you to do something not. like that is not going to be like, you know, like the normal human being. Like, yeah. it'll take me like, uh, you know, two months. You're like, this will grow back like in a couple of days. Yeah, no, this is... Uh... <laughs> Let's do this. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go watch Eric shave in the beautiful mustache. And we'll be right back. All right. We'll, we'll see you there. We'll see you there. Here I'll we go. There. Let's let's do this, man. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Awesome. Let's do it. All right. Well, here we are. It's the uh, Movember challenge. Good thing I brought my clippers. <laughs> By the way, anybody out there that needs a set of clippers, highly recommend. Oh, are Any, you, is anybody? that a message to somebody? Just, you know. You, you, are you gonna demonstrate how easy this is to like uh, shave this oh, up? Oh yeah, so we wanna keep in here. So you might as well just start at the goatee. Oh, this is good stuff right here. Try to get it as close as you can. Normally I do this with the razor, but you know, spur of the moment. And there we go. And just like that, a set of clippers saves you a trip to the barber or wherever you may get your beard done. And we're back. <laughs> you are a man of your word. Dude. Look at this thing. Look at that. It's amazing. It's amazing. Hey, listen, don't let anybody tell you that. Well, I, feel I don't like, think anybody can tell I feel you. feel like a man. <laughs> yes. Well, you know what? Now, now I feel like you're participating in November. Oh, well, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, there you go. There you go. So he's a man of his word. Okay. To be fair, I did <laughs> shave at the beginning of the month. And then it just, as you can see, it just, yeah, we're only two weeks in three weeks in however long and oh it's so it crazy so. you and ryan i swear to god uh, the the hair it just just you guys just wolf out it's amazing it's amazing yeah all right so <clears throat> now there's one thing that that you did not come through with and that was our midget wrestling that we were supposed to go to yeah and kind of disappointed in that but i'm sure it'll come back around because <laughs> how fast did that thing how did yeah, how fast I, did that I, sell out i greatly underestimated how many people are, would want to go that <laughs> i literally the day before tickets were still on sale so i'm like and i was like holding well, off okay so they should you know what one of the things i remember most about wrestlemedia 3 were like you know the i don't know what you're supposed to refer to they, they called them what was the they called it the extreme dwarf wrestling or, right that's that's what this promotion was extreme dwarf dwarf okay. dwarfinators so yeah i i always thought that dwarf wasn't a good thing to call them I mean, either but i don't think you know what's funny is like one of those things where I, I i maybe a lot of small small people or short people or small people i i don't know small people small people okay yeah short I know people lot, got no reason to yeah, oh a little uh, randy <laughs> newman action over here a little randy newman uh no but i don't know i think that a lot of um small people don't care as much as you know it, i think it's like with anything it's like how you use it or how yeah. you direct your words to yeah, people. How, how are you saying it or it says isn't it derogatory is it yeah down exactly mm -hmm. exactly because i hear <laughs> i hear so many groups of different kinds of people yeah. talk a certain way to people and you're like oh yeah. uh, it's, it's like will ferrell oh he's an angry elf yeah <laughs> yeah that that's probably gonna piss them oh god that's like one off. of the funniest things i've ever seen that's like, that was so funny <laughs> you're like he's an angry elf <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so so good but now speaking of wrestling eric 
Speaking of wrestling, have you and Topher like kind of thrown down yet? No. Well, have you settled your differences yet between uh, each I, other? You know what? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Last well, last I checked, the ball was in Topher's court. Now, just to refresh everybody's memory, how did this all start? Did, who started this? Was this him or was this you? Topher was the one that laid down the challenge. Oh, yeah, because he looked right at yeah, the camera, right? Yeah. He, yeah. He, he came after the satanic Hispanic. And, <laughs> and, uh, and you know, I, I put that challenge out there. WrestleMania season is right around the corner, so who knows? Now, I did have, so maybe we'll have to play a clip of that just to refresh people's memories. But, it, well, let's do that right now. I challenged Eric to a title match. Oh, <laughs> did you hear that, Eric? You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. so uh you know before we get this <laughs> this whole thing going something that needs to be addressed oh really okay yeah so I'm, a few months ago sitting at home you know doing what most people do watch the josh and friends podcast <laughs> uh probably having an eric drink or six and yeah. um your guest at the time topher uh-oh decides that he wants to end his podcast by challenging me. So what I'm going to do is start my podcast with the response. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, oh, what's this? You... <laughs> so Topher, this goes out to you, buddy. You come after the champ and just like your favorite band, you too will be dead by April. Whoa. Acknowledge me. Dang. <laughs> It's just, it's classic because I love the fact that you guys, uh, you know, both, and then you guys talk to each other many, several episodes in between. It's not like, <laughs> oh yeah, it was, you know, social media. That's, that's how uh, feuds are built. Now, but, but you guys did meet in person at the bar and I had to capture that on film. And oh, yeah. that was, that was some good we stuff took too. some promotional photos and yeah, fight and photos. Yeah. yeah. You guys were doing like, kind of like the, the weigh in, like stare downs. That was yeah. good stuff. That was good stuff. Actually, I think I have. I, well, let's go to that clip too. It's just like full of clips, folks. Let's just go to Boom. that clip right now. Play it, roll it. <laughs> no, because I lick the right hair. And in order for me to eat his dick, he has to put it on, but it's got my salad bar on it. I win. You lose. Talk to you later. Fuck Chris Topher. So tonight we're telling everybody our fantasies. My fantasy is, never mind, he said he wants to fuck Topher. What? You've been running your mouth all night. You've been running all night. Oh, God. <laughs> just full of See, and as you can see there, I'm just getting right in his face. Yep. yep. Exactly, exactly. So... This is going to be exciting. Maybe I can, you know, rope off some uh, spot in the backyard and we can have you guys go at it there. And who do you think, who would you have? Who would you take in that, in that fight? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Topher would be just like, you'd be twirling him around like. <laughs> this, this one's for Topher. <laughs> Topher, you can't let it in here, man. You can't let it in here. Don't, nope. don't let the, what, do you, what did he call you again? The satanic Hispanic. <laughs> That is such a great name. Now, is there everybody in history been called the Satanic Hispanic, or did he just Not, come up with that? I think he just came up. That's with pretty that. amazing. You, you should so like. I will give him credit for that. It is and great. Then, and then I, I just ran with it. So <laughs> I'll go with it. Oh, it's so good. You know, so next good. time you see me, I might be wearing a Satanic Hispanic. Oh, shirt. that'd be amazing! Amazing. Yeah. You should make that. Actually, you should dress up like in one of those those old school wrestling outfits with the the cap or something like that on it. Oh yeah. And then we could put the Hispanic <laughs> or the <laughs> satanic Hispanic on the, it'd be amazing. So, um, now what else is going on here? Are you going to drink one of these? Cause we, you brought these over. What are these exactly? Uh, you know what? I wish I knew. Um, you always bring up, you bring in some weird stuff see, and then it these, just sits in my, these are the cupboard. dangers of just bringing over random stuff is you forget yeah. when and where, I mean, this has got to be, this has got to be months ago when and where they came from months. Well, I mean, alcohol never goes bad. So, are you gonna you gonna do gonna one? Of them? Just All this right, let's is do it. so everybody knows. This is frankly organic. It's organic, people. It's organic. Organic vodka, organic strawberries, and organic lemon. Oh, so I'm sure it's gonna taste fantastic. It's gonna be. Oh shit! Okay, thirty percent alcohol. Uh, it's kind of weak, but 
All right. This should be nothing for you. So you swirl it. <laughs> Get those aromas flowing. <laughs> Take a... Mm. Wet your palate with it. Yeah. And then down the hatch. <laughs> How was it? Sweet. Is it, is it too sweet for your liking or is it just, you know, it's okay? It's, yeah, it's not over... <clears throat> Oh, whoa, whoa. Is it starting to come up there? It's not overly sweet. <laughs> All right. Okay. <clears throat> That's that lemon. Now, you've been hearing me bitch about this for quite some time now, but I've been going through some HOA nightmares. It's, it's been pissing me off for a while. So, like, it's funny because my HOA... They ride my ass for stupid stuff. Like, you know, like I had to get, uh, you know, permission to, uh, or no, for, first. For backyard. Yeah, first it was the uh, the satellite dish, right? And then I took down the satellite dish and we we're looking around and we we're like, wait a minute, there's other people that have satellite dishes up here. Like, I mean, there's the dish. <laughs> they took away all the trees. That was a big one. Oh, the that, trees that was, was the worst. Horrible. That was bad. That was horrible. That made me angry. But then uh, I did get permission to put in the the grass or the artificial yeah. turf i do get permission to put in the plants well, who gets permission to put in plants just That's, plants like, hoas are so dumb yeah right? right but when it comes to me telling them that like i can't get out of my driveway because people are parked in front of like we have this little courtyard section and nobody's if there's no parking there's specific rules that they have and i can't get out of my driveway sometimes and i'm like can't I, I can't call it, I tried to call a tow truck one time and they're like, sorry, only the HOA can call it. And I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> what am I supposed to not do? Not going to do it. So Eric, do we need to get you and all my other friends to park in the courtyard to block everybody else out? No, too? it's like I keep telling you though. You can send as many emails as you want. They're not going to say I've anything. Sent, no, at this point right now, at this point with pictures, I've sent over 30 emails. That's fucking crazy. Zero response zero point zero zero point zero see now the minute i park out there oh you'll oh, get an yeah. email oh yeah yeah Woo! <laughs> <laughs> all these like cop cars yeah, they yeah, pull, pull yeah you'll get an email all right <laughs> they're just gonna they're gonna take one of those like ram things and like just start like they're gonna mm -hmm. start pounding the door and like wouldn't be the first time the cops oh, come into your house <laughs> with all, all the guns drawn and everything yeah so <laughs> All because I parked in oh, front God. of somebody's garage. Right, totally. I like how you, you're like, oh, no, this is not a joke. There's only one of us laughing right now. <laughs> oh, uh, God. Yeah, so HOA. I love the HOA here. Huge fan. Well, I'm just a fan, fan in general. But It's a huge fan. I, I am kind of, I think I'm, on the, I'm in the middle of, like, being for and against HOAs because HOA is like the whole point of it is not to make the, the whole everyone look like crap you know like oh you're like they keep all them bad crowd out if you're one of those well, HOA people look if you're if you if, you, <laughs> if you're one of these people that choose to have a yard and it's just like overgrown and like there's just weeds everywhere and stuff like that or you have like garbage everywhere and there's like you know is attracting rats and stuff like that and cockroach okay I, I don't want that like you know yeah, seeping yeah. over to my my place but you know, st stupid things like that they're writing me for. I'm like, all right, I, it doesn't make I just, any sense. I don't like the the restrictions and and the monthly fees. That's why when I looked for houses, I made sure yeah. no HOA. Like if I was gonna do something, I wasn't gonna get anybody's approval. Well, it's so stupid too because like, what do they do here? They like, you know, they they cut some... down trees and yeah, right. They cut down the trees. Yeah. All my shade. They cut down the shade. Yeah, oh, that's so ridiculous. Yeah, but all right. So what's another thing? Oh, so another thing that happened recently is they flagged my youtube song my intro for my for my show here so now i need to like maybe like pick another song because like what happened was that i went to this this one guy he's, he's awesome he has this uh all these songs that basically you can use you just have to credit him and yeah. make sure you put his links down and everything like that he's very specific right so he he must have like turned it into like you were getting, ASCAP. you were getting too big he must have like turned the songs in. No, not not on me, but j in general, uh, just yeah. turned in the song like. Uh, and so so now it comes up as like flagged, and I'm like, oh whoa, dude! I'm like, I'm not like, uh, whoa whoa whoa. So whatever, I don't want to get flagged for using you music. May just, have, may just have to bust bust your own beat, and I guess maybe yeah. just do like an intro like, 
I'll do the Manavong song. Manavong. 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 See? See? You're like, yeah, I'm starting to like this. You know, I came up with that in like fourth grade. Oh. What do you think of that? Maybe it was third grade. I think she was actually third grade. The fact that you still remember it, that's amazing. Oh, oh, yeah. me. You know who knows that song? Manavong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We used to sing that all the time. We're like, Manavong. Man. And then you do the, you do the guitar. You do the Manavong. Manavong. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay. So uh, another thing we did, the thing we did as a uh, kind of like a fun group experience was the Hawks cards tailgate yes well we went to the game too but i mean come on the let's game, let's face games, it the game's not in part i think when you go to a game the game's kind of, it well unless the, it's like the a, game falls on the back burner unless it's it, unless it's playoff right uh, i mean worthy look it's always fun to see a game yeah. but but come on the the tail especially here the tailgates are so fun and your group of oh, guys yeah. like with tj and all those guys are so so nice and like oh yeah no they're chill they get they're always they're there damn near every home game <laughs> they're like they're like hey man did you get some food i'm like good god i just i just put down some food they're like well we have some more food if you want some food i'm like i just said i had food like <laughs> oh, it's, it's just constant food and like you guys want some shots i'm like oh god no shots <laughs> it's just oh, yeah, constant no. no it's and it's crazy talking to people that have never been to a tailgate Oh yeah. They're like, oh, what do you what do you do out there? Like, oh, it's yeah, it's, it's pregame. No, like, it's awesome. People man. bring TVs, stereos. Oh, it's not. Oh yeah, they everything. have everything. Like, and, and it's not just like our group. It, it's like every tent like yeah. has TVs and and grills and big giant speak. It, you you could just walk through and like everybody's playing like different songs and like everything. It's nuts. The Great Lawn is where it's at because that. Oh yeah. They have that big stage at the end where you like you know yeah. they're playing like a live band and stuff like that yeah. and huh. oh and. They've really like souped up for the Super Bowl, man. Well, yeah, it's crazy. They got an entire uh, building dedicated to. They have that, two buildings now. To the well, ones I think strictly just for betting, sports betting, and the others for it's the Landers. Nuts. It's crazy. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, man. When the uh, Super Bowl's here in what oh, yeah. a couple months? Yeah, yeah, it's going to yeah. be awesome. This we'll place have, comes. We'll have to take a trip. Yeah, it comes alive, man. It comes alive. Um, so hopefully the Seahawks won't be there. But yeah, hopefully the Seahawks are there. It'll be even more I'm fun. Sorry, did I say that? Oh, oh, how dare you? Bad. How dare you, Eric? Um, all right. So something amazing happened to me last weekend, and I'd, I'd like to share this with you. <laughs> this awkward silence. Just leaning in. <laughs> so last weekend. Congratulations. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> last weekend, I wander into a record store. And, and I was with Jen and we walked into this record store and, and I'm like, you know, I'm thumbing through some stuff, trying to find some, you know, tapes for my new tape table, Yeah, which I found a, a couple, but nothing, you know, spectacular or anything like that. But every time I go into like one of these used record stores like this, I just always, and I've done this for years. I just go, I walk up to the guy and I go, look, Hey, I've been searching and I, I have it now on my phone. That's how long I've been searching. For, it's I, I go, Hey, you probably don't have it. I've been searching for like 20, 30 years. That's no joke, by the way, no joke. Like probably, well, e easily 20 years. So walk up to the guy and I go, look, by any chance do you have this album? And I flash up the album. Then he goes, he goes, you know what? He goes, we might have that. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, yeah, right. He goes right over to the comedy section and he busts out my dad's old National Lampoon's album with the dog on it. No way. And I like almost lost it. <laughs> and first off, not only was the album, the exact album that my dad had when I was a little kid, you could see it in old pictures. I'll flash it up there. I'll, right. It's crazy. But not only did he have that album, but it was $5. And I go, oh my God. I go, I don't think this guy realizes how much I would have paid I mean, for this. I, I don't know what's what's more amazing, the fact that you found it or the fact that this guy knew what you were talking about. And Well, I showed him the picture. I, I knew, literally showed knew him. That, <laughs> knew their actual inventory. <laughs> and I go, well, and there's, you know, there's thousands <laughs> of records in this place. But the guy, uh, the guy, he just pulls it right out, gives it to me, and, and, I, and he goes, wow, I can't believe it's that, that much. And, I, and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, you can't believe it's not this much. I've, I've been searching for this online for a long time i've never seen it like anywhere for sale so i don't know how rare it is but i've never seen know. it like you know aside I mean, from when i was a little the kid next next album up's got to be the uh 
the Beatles with all the dead babies. Oh yeah, yesterday and today. Yeah, yeah. the uh, the butcher cover. Yeah. yeah. Oh goodness, yikes! You find that for five dollars, you you've struck. See, everybody knows gold. about that album though. Yeah. Like nobody knows about the one. I, well, and I think that partially, like the the reason I love this album so much is because well, it's sick, sick humor, but also childhood. <laughs> also, yeah, it's it's very you know sentimental. So yeah. my I had to show nice. it to my dad because my dad sold it. It's like it's one of those picture disc albums, right? And he was like, shouldn't have sold that album. And I got it. I wonder Regrets. if I had the same one. I wonder Regrets. if I like, had <laughs> the I'm like, this is the uh it came full circle. This is the same album right here. Yeah. So anyway, uh so I so thought he that was breaks pretty your cool. heart and be like, no, that's not it. That's five, not the one. Five dollars. <laughs> five dollars I got that album. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. So what else is going on? So we could talk about Kanye losing a billion dollars in a week or a couple days or something like that. And what else? Uh, oh, there's the Twitter. Elon, Elon uh, ruining Twitter. <laughs> Hashtag team Elon. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun to see what Although happens with Rich that. Rich is the one that uses Twitter right. the most. Yeah. Of, oh, yeah. Out yeah. Of all he's, of us. he's the Twitter. He's the Twitter guy. He's the Twitter head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think that what we should talk about instead is this next story. And this next story, it's basically a warning from... <laughs> The uh, the National Park Service about now. Have you heard about you know those people that they go out and they they lick toads to get a to high? Get, get a high? Oh yeah, I've I've heard that. Yeah. So thought about trying it. But, <laughs> no, that's what I was going to ask. I, mean, I was gonna, I was going to ask you about this because I don't know where to find any toads around here. So I, I guess there's a uh, it's it's similar to LSD or yeah. you know peyote where it's like a what a hallucinogenic high, right? Now these toads, they they are actually located around here. They're some of the biggest toads in the entire like, I think it's the entire country. They're called um, what are these toads called? They're called Sonoran Desert toads, or oh. AKA the Colorado River toad, and they will get you high, but they're also extremely poisonous. I mean, so what you're saying is, next time I'm on here, you're gonna have a live toad. And for all of your your fans and viewers out there, we're well, gonna we're gonna lick some toads. Well, Eric, I'm glad you brought that up because I have right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, no, that was gonna be my question though. Would you lick one of these toads? I mean, you don't know till you know. Oh, so if I literally bring one of these toads in next time you're on, you don't you're... know till you know. Wow. You heard it here, folks. I mean, look at he really is up for whatever. I mean, you just shaved I mean, a I mean, if, if you had a toad in one hand, LSD in the other, yeah, I'd probably still go for the toad because there's that 50 50 shot. <laughs> oh, really? The LSD, like, you know what? Well, so, you, you may or may not know. What okay, you're so get. you're telling me that you'd play Russian roulette? Yeah. You'd literally, like, we'd take a gun and we'd spin it, and then we'd just be like, all right, Eric, so there's a there's one bullet in here. You're willing to. You got a one in six shot. Yeah. <laughs> Eric's like, I'm liking these odds. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So uh, you heard it here again. Yeah. You heard it here. I mean, this is fantastic. No, stuff. I, I would be amazed if you went out toad hunting. I think that would be, that'd be kind of weird. Right. Weird. And like, so yeah, they had these pictures of these toads. So basically these guys are like, don't do yeah, this. You probably get arrested too. If they catch you out there toad hunting. I mean, they know cause they know what you're up to. Have you ever caught uh, toads or. No, I've, I used to catch toads when I'd go up to uh, Wisconsin. I'd, I'd catch toads. Uh, <laughs> these big you, old toads. I'm like, used to big toads. You mutilate them too? Is that, is that where you're getting at? I mean. You mutilated animals when you were a child? What are you trying to call me Jeffrey Dahmer? <laughs> Just because it was in Wisconsin? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you, Eric? All right. So moving on. <laughs> moving on. Okay. We're going to go into music here. All right. So we have some music, uh, some music stuff here. I recently saw this interview um, with that old teen singer, Tiffany from the eighties. Do you remember that chick that I'm vaguely familiar with her? She had that like just cruddy song back in the eighties. It was like, you know, teeny, like, wasn't a, she like a, like a teenage what? heartthrob sex symbol or no, I don't know I don't what know. she was. I mean, she, she wasn't hot or anything. Like she's got a kind of only, cute. Only Tiffany I cared for was Tiffany Thiessen. Yeah. Oh yeah. Me too. No, yeah. but like this Tiffany, she had that song that was like, you know, remake of Tommy James and the Ch Chandels is like, I think we're alone now. Oh, okay. But, but that is the good version of that song. Hers is like the, the eighties, like, you know, synthesizer, <laughs> like just like a mall rat, like, you know, singing a, it's just terrible. And then, 
And then the follow-up to that song was another cover song, which is of the Beatles, and it's even worse than that song. And it's and <laughs> cleverly retitled, I Saw Him Standing There. <laughs> So not I saw her standing there. It's I saw him standing there because, you know, it's a girl singing. Well, I mean, you know, but, hey, yeah. this, we're talking the 80s here. It wasn't so bad. Be openly. It's so bad. Well, it's funny because, like, uh. I remember, you know, like, when you know, if you think back to, like, when you were a kid and you're like, I liked it back then, but I don't like it now. I didn't like it back then. I was oh. like, I, I, this sucks. Like, oh, poor Tiff. Maybe because I was, like, into, like, the <laughs> maybe I was, like, because I was into the oldies kind of stuff, like, you know, back then. The and originals. I was like. Yeah, and, and then I would hear these, and I was like, Jesus, this sounds like garbage. But anyway, so so she, like a few months ago, she was doing this live concert, and this has to, this has to be in the running for one of the worst performances of the entire year. And I, I'm going to show you this here. So, I mean, it can't be up there with Vince Neil, can it? Oh, it's, dude, it's way worse. Oh. It's, I mean, Vince Neil's bad, but... <laughs> but again when you hear these songs you're you're thinking of like what they sounded like before vince neil at least vince neil has the other guys <laughs> like you know in the band that you could like oh yeah it's uh it's mick mars and it's uh you know nikki six and you know yeah yeah uh tommy lee's out on drugs he's uh, you know it's awesome you know but well, unless he's got broken ribs and he's not playing right right then he's like oh i gotta leave yeah yeah, yeah. so all right I, i'm gonna play this and let me know what you think of this song okay Yeah, After, so after uh, seeing that, <laughs> let me just go ahead and uh, this is a organic grapefruit and organic Ceylon cinnamon. Oh, that sounds fancy. <sighs> what you sound like you don't want to do this, but that you're just video, doing it just because it, you want it's to. It's the video. Or, oh, okay. The, the video is bad. All right. Okay. Stuff like that will drive you to drink. Oh, okay. <laughs> How was that one? Better. Oh, okay. Maybe they're just going to get better. Well, isn't that usually how it goes? Yeah. (laughs) It may be worse, but right now it's better. Oh, God. Anyway, so I heard this interview, and this person was talking to Tiffany, and I guess she has, like, some new music out. And this, this, this interview, I don't know. I don't know who's buying this. But anyway, this interviewer is like, this stuff is, like, really good. I... This is like the, your your voice sounds fantastic, and I was like, "Damn, I got to check this out." So I googled the new album. I listened to it. Wow, it is not good. It's gonna be your next vinyl purchase. It is horrible. It is awful. <laughs> it is so terrible. I'm like, "All right, man." Now, my question to you is, I don't know. This is why I can't do interviews with like people that are promoting something because if you just want that person on that that's awesome yeah. but to tell them that something that sounds so bad is like really good that, that kind of like ruins your credibility in my opinion doesn't it like i don't know well i mean then that's the that's the bad part about promoting is you you have no choice but to promote it and well howard stern it, had a technique good. when when he's like if i don't like something i'll just say you have a new album and I heard it's doing well or something like that. But to say that it that's like putting your that's like that's like saying, man, well, if Howard likes it, then I must like it. So then you know, I would right? just be like, okay, so you got a new album. I, I'm sure fans of yours will enjoy it. There you go. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I guess you gotta word it a certain deflect, way. But holy deflect. moly, man. Oh. I would I'd play some of it, but I'd get uh, you know, probably flagged. flagged. Yeah. <laughs> flag you flag <laughs> yeah yeah but yeah Ugh. anyway so uh moving on moving on from some bad music to some 
good music. Elton John. I do like Elton John, and I'm feel bad that we didn't go to the head counseling. <laughs> but I, I've seen Elton John live, and it's it's weird to see Elton John because like Elton John always puts on a good show, but his voice has um, changed so much over are, the years. Are the final performances always? It's good not performances? the fun. dude. Stop. He's not gonna. <laughs> he'll be back. He'll be back. <laughs> They Unless always, he dies. They always if he dies, back. if he dies, I'll feel really bad. But oh, you heard it back. here, folks. <laughs> Josh Matlock. If oh. Elton John dies, it's it's oh. Josh's fault. Well, I you know, it's funny because we did talk about, you know, it's funny. Earlier, it's not funny, but um earlier this year I was talking about Taylor Hawkins and then died right yeah. after I talked about him. And then I talked about Gallagher, and then Gallagher died. I'm like, didn't, didn't the same uh-oh. thing happen with Tom Petty? You were talking about him and then he died well that was on that must have been on the old show that we had that conversation but i don't know i mean i at least i saw tom petty a couple times okay (laughs) just don't want you out there jinxing all these uh people on their their final tours yeah no but anyway i saw (laughs) i saw an interesting question that was asked and i thought that i might pose it to you because i think it's like a, a pretty awesome question now the question was, if you could bring back two rappers from the dead, oh, it had to be rappers. Who would? They, well, that's what that was the question. It wasn't just. <laughs> how dare you? No, that was the, that was the question that they posed. So, and I had a I had a list of some of these, but like, I think that, I mean, it's got to be some of these got to be the same right i mean as far as like everybody's choices right so, so if you could bring back two any two rappers yeah any two rappers that have died because jesus the list i i was looking up the list of rappers that died holy crap it's it's, quite, it's, it's, it's like a hundred <laughs> like it is nuts uh because some of these you just don't hear about like i mean in, i mean some of these some of these rappers like are pretty big names but I, they don't come up like in the in like the top hey this person died i'm like oh i should i totally forgot about that but um well i mean some of them like they they were at a peak and then and then they right then they die before they have a chance to to leave a lasting legacy so only people that actually listen to them are going to know right, who they right. Are and be familiar exactly now who would be your top two i mean the obvious one would be tupac i know that yeah tupac's your boy yep so would be number two you're like i'm not i'm not i'm not going east coast number two for for me would probably have to be it would be a tie between nipsey hustle or big pun now nipsey hustle didn't he just die a couple was a couple years ago oh yeah a few years ago he got shot shot in his home jesus hometown oh or or, i'm sorry who was the other one big pun big pun now who's big pun Big pun. He was part of a terror squad with Fat Joe back in the days. He was a big, heavy set, like overly heavy set rapper. Was he bigger than Heavy D? Oh, he was like too. Oh. He was like too Heavy D. Oh, oh my God. Oh, okay. oh yeah. If you've never seen Big Pun, look him up. But obviously, that's what led to him dying so young. Oh, did he die of like a heart attack or something? Or yeah, just like he's. I don't know how much he weighed but he was he was pretty big so he wasn't the poster child for you know good health or anything like oh far from it yeah yeah so supposedly he was an abusive prick too but i mean his music was good now did he die like in the peak of his popularity too or did he was it one of those can it was starting to wane and and stuff like that because like uh no i would say he was he was still right up there because that's when that whole squad was still going strong and then health issues and then gotcha okay so um now I, I totally you 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 totally threw me off because I thought you were gonna say left eye from uh, TLC. I mean, you said rappers. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't don't, she rap in the I mean, <laughs> Just because you rap doesn't make you a rapper. Oh, does, you're like, oh, I guess that yeah, you're right. Because like, that would be uh, weird. Al would be like a considered yeah, a rapper. Yeah, just because right? you spit a verse or two doesn't necessarily <laughs> make you a rapper. Look at me, I'm white and dirty. But I mean, I I could have said Easy E. Right. I could have said Pimp C. Uh, you could I mean, have said there's... Chris Kelly. Do you know who that is? Who? Chris Kelly. Criss Cross. Oh. I'm... Criss Cross will make you jump. It's a kid, jump. right? <laughs> it's a kid. He like, wasn't a kid when he died. I mean, like, <laughs> but who listened to Criss Cross when they weren't kids? Oh, that's true. There you go. You make a great point. You make a great point. What about DMX? Uh... Not a DMX guy? No, no, I love DMX. Oh, okay. Okay. See, yeah. again, I think that you're... 
I think you're right when you say that it's way different if you die at the peak of your popularity. Like Biggie and Tupac are obviously going to be like, you know, Tupac and Biggie, right? Because like yeah. they died at the peak of their careers and mm -hmm. and they were murdered. So it's like, you know. Yeah, I mean, in certain circumstances, like, like, again, like you could say is a lot of rappers that were past a certain point and then a lot of them that died and when they still had a lot left to offer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nate Dogg? Well, yeah, Nate Dogg would definitely be one of my top five. Love Nate Dogg, yeah. yeah. And uh, let's not forget about uh, Biz Marquee and uh, Coolio. <laughs> You're like, I mean, you're going to get cheesy over here, but yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, all right. If we're going to... Yeah, I mean, right. I, I saw Biz Marquee in person. Oh, oh yeah, uh, that's and... right. Wait, no, he was not that tour thing with us, was he? Uh, no, this But we did actually... see Coolio. We did see Coolio, yeah. though. Yeah, Coolio was there. And... By the way, Coolio was the best one we saw. I thought. I thought he was he the was, best. He's been the most consistent, or he was the most consistent. He was the, he was he was by far the I most mean, entertaining. He wasn't inviting random people up like Tone Luck was just Oh Tone Luck. Oh, anybody God. and everybody. I felt bad watching Tone Luck. I was like, oh. Yeah. And I love Tone Luck back in the I mean, you know, oh, yeah. that went out home. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that was called, Loked After just, Night or just something. Just his his voice too. Just his yeah. flow and his style. That's what happened when body starts slapping yeah. from doing the wild thing. Yeah, yeah, it was good stuff. One of the early ones to get into acting and be. Kind oh, yeah. Of Ace Ventura. Yeah. yeah. He was yeah. consistent with that. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Eric, now I know that you just going back to, you know, the up for whatever kind of stuff. Have you ever grown a mullet? I've thought about it, but I have. Oh, never. Ho, ho, ho. Dude, this might this might have to happen. This might... <laughs> now, because the reason I bring this up is because um, there's this competition that has been just it's pretty recent that's been going on for the last couple of years. I guess it started in 2020 and it's called the USA Mullet Championship. Now, this is a kids event. So, I mean, there could be an adult one, but <laughs> there's a kids event and it started in Michigan, but it's it's growing because it's growing in popularity. People are like. We're loving these mullets, man. Maybe it's because like people in my age that had actual oh. mullets back in the day were like, you know, this is kind of fun to see my kids like, you know, shaving mullets into their head and stuff like that. I, and I think too, I think on kids, it's, it seems like it would be funnier. Oh, it is funny. To yeah. see it on, on kids and like grown, oh my God. Ass, grown ass men. It's hilarious. Yeah. So the grand prize for these mullets, <laughs> it's $2,500 now, but I, I think this yeah. is going to get more, I think it's going to get bigger and bigger. Oh yeah. But for a kid. 2500 bucks that's awesome no so um now you, you got to see some of these i'm going to put up some of these uh some of these mullets like on, on the screen here and some of these are so great because i noticed a lot of these kids have like the boz style of mullets where they cut in like the the steps or oh, yeah. they incorporate the 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 gargoyle uh sunglasses like, like, <laughs> like old school sting right yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. exactly and some of them they they all have like the USA shirts on and stuff, you know. It's kind of like a, or the 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 USA flag is like actually what, etched into one of what them. What is it? It's a business in the front, party in the back. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Hell yeah! And uh, it's like it's seriously like what, looking at a Joe Dirt convention. It's so <laughs> awesome. So my question for you is: Can we look forward to having an Eric Mullet in the near future? Now. That's a lot of, you know, you growing, you know, a mustache or, you know, a beard, full beard. We all know that you could grow a full beard in like, you know, what, 15 days or something like full beard. Yeah, this will this will be back uh, next for, week. <laughs> it's, already, it's already growing. I feel it growing like right now. Like I can I can shave with the razor. Yeah. In the morning and by midday, it's already like rough. That and is stubble. So, that is so crazy. No, but so, yeah, but a mullet is another deal like altogether. But yeah. I, but you. You're not going into the office, right? It's not like you. No, I work from home. I mean, oh. it, it would not be difficult, dude. I I think we might have to get we might have to get the mullet going. I might have to go toad hunting. We have some stuff coming up here that we need to uh, take care of for I mean, the. That, uh, that next sounds episode. like an American dream. Right yeah. There. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! All right. Well, you know what, Eric? America. <laughs> Erica, do you need? Do you want to like down one of these beers or any more of these drinks oh. before we uh, we call it a? A show here. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this. We all know that you can down drinks. So, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to have some drinks here. Should I, should I do another shot? You know what? Let's do one more of these and, and let's uh let's see what we let's see what, what is which one is this? Well, this is organic pomegranate. 
Oh, shout out oh. to Zeke. Yeah, Zeke. Organic lemon. Okay. Now, are these all, what kind of, are these like vodka based? These or? are vodkas. Okay. Oh, I think you got to do that for Zeke, right? This is apples and ginger. Yeah, yeah you got to do the uh, pomegranate. All right, this one goes out to Zeke. Zeke Hudson. This one's for Zeke. Only man in existence <laughs> that loves all Sandlot movies. <laughs> He's like, I like all the Sandlot movies. I'm, I'm like, like, wait a minute, there's more than one? Yeah. I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't see past the second one. I'm like, this is the same <laughs> plot line. <laughs> the kids are just younger. It's the same. Oh, they, you're, they, you're the, killing me, The ball me, goes over the fence. Yeah. They come up with a bunch of. Is random, it really the same movie? To me, it was. Oh, Why they, did they do that? Like, they added a girl. The kids well, are younger. A, wasn't there a girl in the first? There was a girl in the first one. Not as part of the group, no. Oh, okay. Oh, there was a peppercorn, right? The uh, peppercorn. Well, yeah, she was the love interest, but no, <laughs> this is this girl's part of the team. And oh, okay. Ball goes over. You didn't the like fence. that part. You didn't like that. You didn't like a girl being a part of the. Whoa, whoa! What are you I'm getting? At? You're the one that pointed it out. You. <laughs> Hey, you, all right, hey, do your, I'm, I'm up for whatever. Do your shot. Do your shot. <laughs> all right, Zeke, Zeke, this goes out to you. Organic vodka, pomegranate, and lemon. All right, let's do it. Look, it's, it's just like pouring it down like a, a sink. It's just... <laughs> How is it? Well, that one's the best so far. The oh, whole that one's but the we best. Are three shots in, so you never know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Everything kind of tastes the same. <laughs> I feel like this is one of those TikTok videos where this person drinks a lot of alcohol, and then that's when they cut the video. Yeah, you never see the aftermath. Right, right. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Like when they take the the straw and they do the uh, oh, the, the Jack Daniels, the Jack Daniels one. I'm like, okay, now the, you cut out the most important part. Oh, the video is like when you're getting, when you're in the hospital, getting your stomach pumped. Oh yeah. No, now my, my dad used to do like the small, like not the 750, but the yeah. smaller ones. Um, he could do that back in the day. You know, like the, what? Jesus. You know what? Look, some of it's I bet, genetics. I mean, yeah. I can't. Your dad and my dad, they would have, uh, they would have had a good time back in the day playing oh. pool, hanging out, oh, drinking Jack definitely. Daniels. <laughs> That would that'd be amazing, <laughs> right? If we could get them back in their prime well, and just fucking yeah. shoot the shit. Well, we're gonna have to get them together uh, next time. Uh, next time my my parents are in town, because uh, yeah, I don't know if my dad likes my ties though. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know when the if he's I don't ever know. had one or I don't what? know if he's still in the Mai Tai kick or whatever. But <laughs> your your dad's like I I still drink what I drank back in 1973. Oh yeah, no, my dad will still drink Jack and he uh, his beer. Jack uh, is good. I love. He Jack. loves beer. I love Jack, but the Jack don't love me. <laughs> uh, I love Jack, Jim, Jose. Uh, you don't you, like any females? You know, do they make any females? No. Nah. Mm. Is Doctor McGillicuddy a girl, or is it? That... <laughs> All right, okay, Eric. I don't know if any, if anybody out there knows of an alcoholic beverage that's named after. There has to be. Well, I mean, I've had Becky. Becky. Okay. That was a. What about uh, Stella? That was a fruity Stella. Stella? St Stella's a girl. There we That's go. Beer. There we go. There we're we talking go. like hard liquor. Is oh, there, is there okay. a girl hard liquor? I don't, I don't know. know. If anybody knows it, leave it in the comments. All right. <laughs> and I will drink it. Josh will take picture or video of me drinking, purchasing yeah. and drinking whatever. Absolutely. Female. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Eric, uh, next, I don't think we've had the random questions with you uh, yet, right? Uh, shoot for it. No, we'll do it next time. We're going to save it for next time because it'll All take right. way too long. <laughs> so uh, next time we'll do that. Is there anything you'd like to add? Anything you'd like to add? Nope. Just Topher, whenever you're ready, I'm here. Uh oh. I mean, uh -oh. We, we can keep this going till WrestleMania season. Uh, it's a two night event. So we can go Saturday, Sunday, you name it. Uh oh. That's, uh, it's all in his court now. It's in your court. It's in your court, buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again for coming on, buddy. It's always fun. It's always a good time. Man, you were like, you really proved today that you, uh, you really are. I mean, I feel like up I whatever. Just, might you as really well are. just finish off the episode. All right, let's right. do it. Let's do it. Let's finish that off. Just dump, dump it down that uh, dumpster of a throat. <laughs> that, way, that way tomorrow's paper will read, man dies live on air from alcohol poisoning. All right. Make sure you get good and close so you can get the sound effect again with this. Organic this is so ridiculous. Apples and ginger root. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is so ridiculous. How's that one? Oh, the gingers. Oh, 
It tastes like how you would imagine uh, ginger yeah. would be tasting? Yeah, okay. That's all, folks. All right. Okay, well, hey, Eric. It's been fantastic. All right, buddy. It's been fantastic. So, for Eric Tapia, I'm Josh. And as always, thank you for being a friend.